It's avocado season in Burundi's northern province of Kayanza. Avocado production in this East African nation was promoted by late President Pierre Nkurunziza in 2007, who praised them both as a source of good nutrition and as a cash crop. Production of the fruit has surged recently after farmers learned of increased global demand. The world has actually seen that the avocado can be developed and it can also be a source of income for the producers and the crops and also for the government for any foreign uh, currencies uh, by exporting enough products. Then um, we expect that in five years we'll be able to uh, export more than 10 uh, million uh, tons of avocado. It has not been easy for farmers though. Middlemen have been taking advantage of them by buying their produce at throwaway prices. The government has been making efforts to organize an avocado export market, while cooperatives have consolidated farmers to ensure they're not exploited. Some middlemen are thriving because they've gained the confidence of farmers. I collect avocados from farmers in this area because the people here trust me. They bring anything from 2 crates to 10, 20 crates and I deliver them to be exported. Nsabimana is also a prosperous avocado farmer. He now has 500 trees, having made over $6,000 profit since he began. Burundi is ranked among the poorest countries in the world with an annual per capita income of just under $200 last year. It is also known for exporting tea and coffee, but with the avocado production, it is hoped that the lives of millions of people who depend on agriculture can improve. Wanja Mungai, CGTN.